Hello and welcome to our final day of worship and wellness as part of our 21 days of wellness. Um, I thought it would be a great idea to recap the worship pathways we've discovered over the course of this week. I know these clips are short and so maybe going over these again reveals or highlights something new. Um, what's great about the way that God's designed us is that God isn't one dimensional. Uh, we are not limited to one pathway as we are not limited to one language or one skill set or even one spiritual gifting. Uh, God's created us to worship him with our entire being. And so you might have discovered this week that you are a naturalist and a contemplative, or aesthetic and activist, or a caregiver and a traditionalist and a few others. Um, the fact is that God hasn't put any limits on how He, how we can encounter him in worship. Um, so here is a quick clip to remind you of how you connect with God in worship and how God has made us to engage with him. I hope you've had a good week and that you share with others what God imparts to you about worship during your time spent with him on the pathway. The first way is the naturalist. They connect to God through nature. For naturalists, the outdoors is God's cathedral. Number two is sensates. They connect to God through the senses. When sensates worship, they want to be overwhelmed with sights and sounds, smells, tastes, and touch. Traditionalists connect to God through rituals. They seek order and structure and routine. Ascetics connect to God through simplicity. Unlike the others, ascetics desire solitude and a distractionless world to pray to God. Activists connect to God through confrontation. They're energized by the war against the sins of this world. Caregivers connect to God through loving others. Out of all the pathways, caregivers love God most through loving their neighbor. Then you have the enthusiasts who connect to God through celebration. Enthusiasts worship with excitement, power, but also mystery. Contemplatives connect to God through adoration. A contemplative would describe their relationship to God with words expressing the deepest, purest, brightest love possible. Intellectuals connect to God through the mind. Intellectuals come alive when their minds are stirred.